Alrighty, what's happening, folks? I have a feeling this audio ain't gonna come out great. And I'm, I'm getting this feeling because it's very windy today. But it is warm enough where I busted out the old summer spring gloves, which I'm kind of happy about. Because you feel like you got a little bit more, uh, a little bit more security over the bike. You know, the, the big winter gloves are, you just get a little slippage, your clutch isn't as, as beautiful. Boop, 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 boop. So yeah, I busted out the old uh, Sumski gloves. But uh, what I wanted to talk about, this is gonna be a two-part series. See, now I'm doing series. I said I was gonna do series. This is gonna be a two-part series. And they're gonna discuss what to do with this bike in terms of mods. Uh, the first video will be if you wanna make it a touring bike and what are the best mods to get for that. And the second will be if you wanna make it a, a sweet looking naked bike with the perks. Um, I'm gonna go on a, a moderate budget, I guess, um, you know. Obviously you can spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on, on any bike to change everything over, but um, I'm going basic mods for touring and then basic mods for just cleaning up a little bit. So we'll jump right into the touring. Um, first and foremost, I think this one applies for both and I'll, I'll add it in the other video. The comfort seat. You need to get yourself a better, better saddle on this. It's not very comfortable stock. The Yamaha one stinks. The um, Seat Concepts one is the best that I, I know of. Um, they make good products. I have a buddy who's, who's recommended them for every bike he's, and he's put them on every bike he's had. And uh, yeah, this is the first bike I used it on and, and I, I love it. So yes, upgrade the seat ASAP. I think that's very important. I think I'm gonna follow you, Subaru. Next, I guess in importance, touring, get yourself some luggage. Uh, whether it be a hard case on the back, I went with the Shad case. It was a bit pricey, probably not needed. I probably could have got away with something a little bit cheaper, but it does the trick. You know, it was pretty easy to install. I got an extra light on the back, so now I got an additional brake light um, on the case. Oh, look at the German Shepherd, how cute are you? So yes, highly recommend the uh, the luggage case. If you don't want to go hard case, you can go soft case. It's gonna limit how much you could fit in there. Um, so, you know, just take that into consideration. It's it's gonna affect the amount of, of stuff you can put in, you know. And some people travel light. I tend to travel pretty light when it's like a vacation. But when I go for like a motorcycle trip, I feel like I need so much shit and I don't really, you just need socks and underwear. I wear the same pants every day. Another mod, and yeah, this one, this one really, it, it could go either way. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're touring or not. It's definitely beneficial if you're touring, but you gotta figure out a way to get more real estate on the bars. Um, right now, I just have the one phone clip, and that's really all you're fitting. You're not fitting a lot on here. So you need to, you know, you need to get some ram mounts and set up a bar that goes across. Um, because you just you just don't have any real estate over here. It's it's very tough to, to fit two things on here. Um, because you got your, your brake fluid up here. So, you know, once once you, you can't really clip anything onto there, you can't clip anything on the windscreen, you need to figure out something to go between these two. And what that is, I imagine it's ram mounts. I haven't done it myself. Um, because frankly, I all I ever need is the phone. I got my music, I got my GPS on the phone. I don't really need to, um, I don't need a radar detector. It's just something that will distract me, I feel. Um, another option, if you don't want to go that route, is you get a tank bag that's see-through, feel-through. Um, you get a little tank bag right here. And, um, and then you free up something for here camera or something whatever you whatever you feel you need but a tank bag would be beneficial but you got plastics here so you got to figure out a way probably one of those that screw into these screws and sits right on top and then when it's off it looks really stupid but uh, yes those are I think I think they're improvements if you want to go touring um, 
windscreen. Uh, this is the only one I've tried. It's the, the, the Puig, and it just doesn't sit high enough for me. Um, I spoke with a woman. She she has the um, she had the double bubble windscreen. That's what it was called. I remember she said it like 55 times. She was significantly shorter than me. She was like 5'4". I'm like 6'1". So, I, I think regardless, if she had this windscreen, she'd be very happy with it as well. But I think she was just happy with it because she's short and anything would have worked. So, it's up to you on the windscreen. I mean, I don't really love it. I've pretty much, uh, I'm going to take this one off. He said, rather just the wind equally distributed around me as opposed to just you know, hit me right in the face. It says I'm here, but I don't believe I'm here. Unless, yeah, I passed it. Fuck me. All right, well, not that you asked, but breakfast was delicious. Had me a nice little bacon, egg, and cheese. It was okay. Um, that was the best one I had found, aside from the one downtown. There's one place downtown that's really good, but I don't think they're open anymore due to the, the corona. My corona. Um, I don't believe they're open anymore, so This place uh, Dempsey's it's good, but it's it's a little weird I mean first off they use a hamburger roll, which it just doesn't seem to go like, you know your your seated roll that you'd use for a hamburger You know that McDonald's would use for a hamburger Burger King whichever one does um, So it just doesn't work The great thing about the place in downtown Archie's has a uh, it's called a Portuguese muffin, which I guess is a form of bread, but it's 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 perfect to say the least. But I digress. Back to touring mods. So yeah, we covered the case. Luggage, you're gonna need it some some form. I personally like luggage that's stand up, you know, behind me as opposed to saddlebags on the side. Um, I just think it's you know it deflect your body deflects the wind, so the cases aren't giving you any drag. With the side cases, I feel give you some drag. But to each your own. Um, the windscreen, optional. You take the windscreen completely off and it's the wind's distributed nicely. Where if you if you have the windscreen on partially, um, you know, it's directed somewhere. Right now it's directed towards my chest. Pop this guy up, it'll, it'll get me right towards the face. So, um, you know, advice I guess if you're, you're looking to get a windscreen is, you know, meet somebody that has one. <laughs> I think a USB plug is nice to have, especially if you're riding all day. You, you know, your comm's gonna die, your your phone's gonna die. So there, there at least is some benefit there uh, of having the USB. I mean, I, I didn't use mine until the last trip, but at this point, I have two comms that I can swap in and out. I just use one and just plug it in at this point. Um, I don't really mind a cord running a year, but those are you know fairly easy to do. None of these modifications are difficult. The only one, you know, I couldn't do myself is the seat. And when I say I couldn't do myself, I didn't do any of them. My buddy did them all, but you know. And it's, it, they're not difficult to do. To say the very least, they're not difficult to do. 